This is how you get started using Auto Voice on the Google Home and the Amazon Echo. Let's start by opening Auto Voice here, accept all these permissions. And here you can see a small graph that shows you how you can use Auto Voice in various ways, like trigger actions locally, remotely, and from IFTTT. You need to go to the Devices screen to start up to make sure that you're signed in with your account so that uh, Google Home and, and the Amazon Echo can recognize your user. Here you can see I have three devices registered to Auto Voice. After you do this, you can now say, Hey Google, ask Auto Voice to say hi. Sure, here's Auto Voice. And here you can and see that you receive the command, hi. say hi. Same thing for Alexa, you can say, Alexa, ask Auto Voice to say hi. Command sent, say hi. Here you go, say hi. Now to create your own custom responses and to react to these commands in Tasker, you go to Tasker, create a new profile, event, plugin, Auto Voice, and then recognized. Here you can say you can create a new command. So click on this and say hi. You can see that you can add many variations for the command. Hello. Good day. If you say any of this of these commands, it will trigger this com this profile in Tasker. You can send many responses as well. Hello to you too. Hi there. What is up, my man? Okay. You can see all the commands and all the responses here. Finish. And in the task, let's do something simple like creating a simple pop-up with the text, hello from Tasker. Okay, now back out of Tasker. And now it will save this command to, to Google Home and Alexa. And you can say, hey Google, ask Auto Voice, hi. Sure, here's Auto Voice. Hi there. See, now it responded, hi there. And you can see that it triggered the profile in Tasker. Alexa, ask Auto Voice, good day. Hello to you too. See, also triggered the profile in Tasker. You can see now that ta uh, Auto Voice created the command for you directly here. In assistant commands inside Auto Voice, you can see that the command was created for, for the assistants. I'll now show you how you can use natural language for this. Let's try deleting this and delete the profile in Tasker as well. I'll set up natural language in Auto Voice. So open Auto Voice, open the natural language option, and set up natural language. Here, just Insert your natural language tokens. I'm using join, by the way, to copy the, these values remotely. See, set clipboard from join. It's the easiest way to do this. Accept. Okay, now go into commands. And you can see this little toggle here that lets you enable uh, auto voice natural language for the Google Assistant and Alexa. You have to enable this. To create a profile using natural language, go into Tasker, create a new profile with the event auto voice natural language. Create a new command. And before you might remember that I used hi, hello, and good day for the commands, because it's natural language, I can simply say hi. 
and it will auto automatically recognize all the other variations of hi. So it will know that hello and good day is also hi. Hello to you. And now set the sent the entry task to show a pop-up again. Hello with natural language. Back out of Tasker. And now if I say, hey Google, ask Auto Voice, hello. Sure, here's Auto Voice. You can see that it triggered hello the natural you. voice command, hi. Alexa, ask Auto Voice, good day. Hello to you. See, I just configured it, hi and it recognized hello and good day, all because of natural language. You can also integrate AutoVoice with IFTTT. To learn how to do that, check out the video description below for a full tutorial. I'll also leave other tutorials in the video description so you can check them out as well. Hope you enjoy using AutoVoice on your Google Home and the Amazon Echo.